because one thing I since like I didn't really Why you understand it so much back then, but uh, I start I'm really starting to believe in the process that there was. I wish this God that's in this book that's doing this like could be in my life. You know, I wish like the same God that's bringing these people. Out, I wish I wish they would do that in my life. Right? There's definitely levels to where God has you at, and um, <clears throat> one of the amazing things is. Like he's working on things behind the scenes that we don't even recognize, that we don't even know about. And I just kind of started praying, man. I, I just, I, I started just reaching out, like whatever. Like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna give it a chance. Like, if this is the God has done all Why this. Why you going up, man? Here, here, here I am, you know what I mean? See what you can do. But like, it's growing behind the scenes. And when it's, when it's the proper time, it's gonna man manifest itself in our lives. And the volunteer work with the scene. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been finding myself in different places, gathering tools that would make um, that would make me a more efficient tool by using social media as a platform to to do essentially the same thing that you're doing. And but now I'm kind of like hungry for the Bible, and I'm kind of Why praying a little bit more, and I'm understanding more. Getting involved with this. Um, have you ever heard of Toastmasters? It's like a public yeah. school. Yeah. Man, I started going to a Toastmasters group. So. Are you familiar with the Daily Breads? Like the little, their little pamphlets that they hand out sometimes? Yeah, I know what they are. I didn't get into them. I was like in the Bible. Seeing all these things take place with people that you never thought it would grow from. You know what I mean? And so you just know God's in the middle of it, making things happen. I just, I just wanted to mention that real quick. I'm reading my Daily Bread, and for some reason, I could not get off of the authorship name. And the name was Marvin L. Williams. Like, it's just little name at the bottom. I I couldn't get it off my head. I was like, why does this sound familiar? You know, like that type of thing. And um, it had some significance for whatever reason. Yeah, I could, and I and I couldn't put my finger on it. Right, like I know someone named this or something. It just it hit me. Right, there was a there was an officer who worked in my lodge at the time. He was there that shift, and. Uh, like, and he was this dude that I was really cool with, man. He always had good vibes. His, uh, we called him Player. He was like, he was a right black on? dude with Jerry Curls. The officer. The officer. Yeah, he 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 was he was he was cool, man. And uh, and next thing you know, like it hit me. Oh, Player, Player. That's Player's name, Marvin Williams. You know, I'm gonna ask him. I just came with my thought, like I'm gonna ask him if he reads the Daily Breads to see if maybe he's seen his name. You know, and uh, man, I. I they let me out for showers, and uh, I'm walking by the, the podium, and I go, hey, player. I look at him, I go, by any chance you read the Daily Breads? And he looks at me, right? He gives me this look, and he says, I write those.